guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a full face of TJ Maxx and Marshall's makeup. I've been saying I'm going to do this for the longest time and I never actually did. So I'm finally doing it. So this is the look I did today. This is all TJ Maxx and Marshall's makeup. So that is what we are going to be doing today. If you are new here, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos and let's get started. Okay, so first we are going to go in with primer, and a lot of this isn't super new, but it is the most recent stuff that I <laughs> bought from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. So I'm going in with the Ulla Henriksen Banana Bright Primer. I've used this a bunch of times, obviously, since I've had it for a while, and I absolutely love this primer so, so much. I never know how much to use, so <laughs> I always start with a little bit and then start adding more. But I really like this. Just gives a nice finish to the skin. It smells really good, it brightens, I love it. And ignore my skin, my skin is a hot mess, so ignore that. Next, I'm going to go in with the Sephora, what is this actually called? My label is blocking this thing. It's a clean, yeah, clean glowing skin foundation. My have, I have the shade 11. And I'm using this just because I want something light for today. I just want to use all of these products for this video because I've been saying I'm going to do it for the longest time and then I never actually did. So that's why we're doing this right now. I like this as well. It is more light coverage, which again, that's why I'm using it right now because I don't really want a full coverage foundation. I'm not really going to be going anywhere, so I don't need to be using a full coverage foundation today. I don't know if you can see this, but yes, I'm wearing a jack-o'-lantern sweatshirt because it's October, so I have to dress in theme all month. I love Halloween. Halloween. <laughs> so, so much. So my entire apartment is decorated for Halloween, and I have Lots of Halloween clothing, including sweatshirts and socks and everything. I am actually wearing a ghost pants too, but you can't see those. <laughs> those are like ghost sweatpants. Got them at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. Shocking. One of those. Um, I don't remember where I got this jack o lantern sweatshirt though. Don't remember. Okay, see, so it's a very, very light coverage, but it still looks really good on the skin, which is why I really like it. I think that color is pretty perfect for me, actually. And again, like you can still see my spots here. So it doesn't really cover it, but these are more scabby than pimples because I'm incapable of not touching my face. So, whoops. <laughs> But I like it for everyday wear. It's like the perfect foundation for that. I thought it had SPF, but maybe it doesn't. Yeah. It says it has matcha tea and vitamin C, actually. And it says it leaves the skin with a radiant finish and light buildable coverage. So I do like how my skin looks with that as well. So it's just a good overall foundation. I don't have a new concealer from TJ Maxx because... I have mentioned this, I'm really trying to not buy concealers when I don't need them. I almost bought the Jaclyn Hill or the Jaclyn Cosmetics Concealer, but I looked up reviews and they weren't that great, so I didn't buy any. So I'm actually using the Born This Way Ethereal Light Concealer from Too Faced. And Too Faced is at TJ Maxx all the time, so that's part of the reason why I used it for this video, because it might end up in TJ Maxx anyway. <laughs> So actually this is too light to cover these, but at this point I don't really care. I got this in an influencer box actually, but again, this might end up in TJ Maxx at some point, probably soon, but I think this recently came out, so I'm not sure how soon it's going to make it to the stores. It is a pretty light coverage concealer as well. I don't think, what does it say? It just says illuminating smoothing concealer. I don't know what the coverage is supposed to be, but I think it does illuminate. I, my dark circles are so ridiculous. So I haven't found anything that has actually covered them. 
So I don't really expect a concealer to cover up my dark circles, which it doesn't, but I think it is illuminating and it does make my under eyes look good. It just doesn't cover it all up. So for powder, I am going to use the Milk Makeup Powder, which I got from TJ Maxx. That's what this video is. I think the only product that I didn't get from TJ Maxx is the concealer. Yeah, because I don't really have anything from TJ Maxx. Everything else is from TJ Maxx. So right now I'm just going to powder where I put the concealer because I have a liquid slash cream product that I want to use on my cheeks. So I don't want to put powder on that area. Yuck. Okay. So next I'm going to go in with the Glossier, I almost said Milk Makeup, Glossier Cloud Paint in the shade Beam. So this is the peachy tone one. So this one I have to be really, really careful with because I always use way, way too much. So this is what I put on my hand and I am using a stipple brush to apply it. And I'm just going to apply that right to the apple of my cheeks and like see how much that added to my cheeks. I barely put anything, but it's still too much. So I'm not a giant fan of this because even right here you can see like, well, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but my foundation kind of comes through because this like pulls it away or pulls the foundation away, I mean. So I'm not a huge fan of that part, but I really like the color of this. It's more perfect for spring and summer, but I still like it. Okay, so I'm like very intense blush today. So maybe I'll just put some around there, make it look like summer. It's okay. So then I'm going to just powder that and then powder the rest of my face. Okay, next I'm going to go in with bronzer. This is the Buxom Staycation Vibes Primer Infused Bronzer. This is in Rooftop Tan. This is what the shade looks like. It has the lighter shade in the middle. And I'm just kind of going to add it to the outside of my cheekbone because I did put the blush on. And again, I'm not really doing anything, so I just wanna add a little bit of color. Also, I hadn't mentioned this, but my hair is wet. I just looked in the mirror and it looks disgustingly greasy, but it's not, it's wet. <laughs> I am training for a half marathon on Thanksgiving. So I did my long run this morning and I just showered right before I sat down to film this. So that is why my hair is wet and it looks dirty. I promise it's not dirty, it's wet. <laughs> Next is brows and I have not used this yet. So we're going to open it on camera. This is from Glossier. This is the Boy Brow Grooming Pomade. I have the shade Brown. Got this from Marshalls. This is what it looks like. It is just a tiny brush. So we'll see how pigmented it is. Yeah, that is pretty pigmented. Why does it look like something's pulling on my skin? More pigmented than I expected. I do have to fix my brows too, so this does not help. And I'm going more natural today, so that's why I'm only using this. So you can see the difference between the two eyes. This is definitely pigmented and it kind of just put my brows in place. So I like it. We'll see how long it actually lasts for the rest of the day, even though I'm not gonna be really doing anything. So it won't really be difficult to stay in place. Okay, so there you go. Okay, so I like it. It is the perfect color for me. So I'm glad this is the shade that I found in the store. Next up is eyes. And this, I've only used this palette like once or twice just because of the color scheme. But I'm going to use the BH Cosmetics Los Angeles palette. And actually, I have not bought eyeshadow palettes from TJ Maxx in a long time. So that's why this is the palette that I'm using because this is the most recent palette that I have bought at TJ Maxx. But this is the color scheme. So it is not fall, winter-like at all. It is like all spring. But we're just going to go with it. I'm just going to do a quick look because... 
again, I'm not going anywhere. So I'm just going to do a pinky orange look. So I'm going to go in with WeHo, I think that says, the peach shade in the middle. So I'm going to put that on my crease and actually I lied. It's literally like my whole lid. I don't know what I'm doing. I did not put a highlighter on, but I'm just going to leave it because I don't actually think I have a highlighter from TJ Maxx, or at least I don't even know the last time I bought a highlighter from TJ Maxx. So it's okay. I'm just not going to include it. Since this is a more natural look, well, more natural as I put peach on my eyes, I meant the rest of my face. Since that is more natural, I'm just not going to put on a highlight. So like I said, I just want to do something simple. I'm making a giant mess. I can't really see. My mirror is so low, so I guess I have to just hold it. Using that same brush, I'm just going to go into the 405, which is the darker peach tone, and I'm just going to put that in the outer corners. I mean, this is hardly darker, but it's all like a pastel palette, so I don't really expect much. <laughs> I'm going to put that a little bit on my lower lash line, too. Okay, next I'm going to use, I'm just going to hold it like this. I'm going to do, what is this called? <laughs> Sunset Boulevard, which is this shade, and then I'm going to put Malibu on the inside. So kind of pinky over here, and then it gets to orange. And I'm just using my finger like I always do. I mean, that shade is gorgeous. And then the orange for the inner corner. Okay, so throw the natural out the door because this is not natural. <laughs> So that is what it looks like. It's kind of an easy like sunrise type look. I like it. I was going to go more orange because hence my fall Halloween outfit, but it's okay. So I'm just going to do thing, the same thing on the other eye. Okay, next is mascara. I'm going to use the MAC Giga Black and then I just opened this actually, the Maybelline The Colossal Mascara. I love this mascara. It is from TJ Maxx. It has they have random drugstore mascaras all the time and I love that one so when I saw it I figured I would buy it because I love it so much and as always I'm using Giggle Black on my lower lashes because of how small the brush is and then I will use the Colossal one on my top lashes So those are the eyes for lips. I am just going to go in with a balm since I was going to go natural and then I kind of screwed that up. So it's okay. <laughs> I'm going to use, oh, I just inhaled powder. Oh my goodness. I'm going to use the Glossier Balm. I don't know what this is actually called, but this is in the shade Cake, which is the nude shade. So that is all I'm going to put on my lips. enough color to kind of go with the eyes. So lastly, for setting spray, I'm going to use the Cover FX High Performance Setting Spray. This is 24 hour wear. I have to start it first so it doesn't get all over my face. And by all over my face, I mean, this sometimes goes crazy, so it gets everywhere. So that is everything that is a full face of TJ Maxx minus concealer. As you guys know, I love TJ Maxx and Marshalls so, so much. I go there every week showing you guys what I find in the beauty section, and that's pretty much where my entire makeup collection is from now, at least recently. Any new products that I buy are mostly from TJ Maxx and Marshalls because so many great deals in the store for high-end makeup. So, I mean, how could you possibly go wrong with these products? But if you do not already follow along with my TJ Maxx and Marshalls Shop With Me videos, I will put that link below for that playlist and I will put it in the cards if you guys want to check it out. But that completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye.